Hi, this is Database by Doug, and this video is on the like operator in SQL. We're going to use the Northwind database, and uh, the like operator, the like statement, evaluates a set of characters to as to whether they match a pattern. If it matches, it returns true. Uh, if it doesn't match, it returns false. So that's why we call it a logical operator. Since like returns a logical value, it's common to use the like statement in a WHERE clause because the WHERE clause expects logical expressions. If you don't know the WHERE clause, you can check out another video on my channel. So let's start with a simple example from the products table. There we are, we have 77 products and we're just showing every record and now let's limit that using a WHERE clause to show just certain records. In this case, we're showing all the ones that begin with A, and there's only two of them. So now let's look at all the ones that end in A. So the way I'm doing this is with the like statement, and here's the uh, column that's being evaluated and each column is a set of characters or a sequence of characters and then the percent a is the rule by which the like statement is evaluating the product name so last one is let's show all of the records that have uh, a anywhere in the product name and the real last one is the one that does not have an a in the product name. So notice these don't have an A. So as you can see, the percent character is kind of special. Uh, the A character is just being matched on whether uh, directly is there an A. The percent actually means something to the like statement. So percent is an example of a wild card character or a character that defines a matching. So before we go on and, and talk about those special characters, let's look at the format of the like operator. And typically, you have some character expression on the left, and you have some format expression on the right. I say expression because this could be some complex uh, you know, concatenation of fields or some other function that returns a set of characters. Uh, same thing here. So it could be a complex expression on the left of the like statement. So the character expression on the left is the part that will be tested, and the format expression defines the test that will be used on the character expression to return a true or false. So in the example above, the product name, you know, where we had where product name like percent a percent, the product name is the character expression, and the percent a percent is the format expression. Now it's best to think of like as a comparison operator similar to equality or less than or greater than uh, or not equal than. So here's an example of a comparison operation. So the things on the left and the right are compared based on a set of rules. So um, there are two main special characters f that like pays attention to. The first one is a percent and what that means is uh, it's a wild card that can match on zero or more characters. So just for demonstration purposes, I am going to run these select statements. And notice that because these two match, because the WHERE clause is true, one does equal one, we see the word match down here. But when the WHERE clause is false, we won't see anything here. So some examples select match and here we have the character sequence is FRED and the like statement pattern match is F percent which means anything that begins with an F and has zero or more characters so in this case the F matches on the F and the percent matches on RED so as a counter example does Fred begin with an S and that's false, so we don't see the match record here. So uh, also be aware that in most cases, SQL is case insensitive. Now, if you've set your collation differently on your database, you might find something different. But by default, uh, 
uh, SQL is case insensitive. So no matter whether I use a capital or a lowercase f, they both match on Fred. So what about this? Can I match just a single character on f percent? And yes, I can. The, here the f matches on the f and the percent matches on the zero characters that come after f. So again, percent matches on zero or more characters. So what about this one? And the way I would say this in English is any string that begins with F or ends, uh, excuse me, begins in F and ends in D and has zero or more char characters between them. So let's do a few more. There's another example of single character matching. Here is anything that contains the letter R including a single character string that is an R. Here's anything that contains an F, and Fred does contain an F even though it's at the beginning. It still matches. This percent matches on zero characters. This percent at the end matches on the RED. So here is a pattern string that would match on anything that ends in ED and my Fred does not, or F does not. And of course, I can create a pattern matching string that has no special characters in it. So this Fred does match Fred, uh, or Fred is like Fred, but if you're not using any special characters, it probably makes more sense just to use equality, and certainly there are some performance reasons why you'd want to do that. All right, so the second special character is, character is the underscore, and this matches exactly one character. So in this example, I have four underscores, and I've given a comment here because it's hard to see how many there are. They bleed together. So in this case, Fred does match because Fred has exactly one character. So the first underscore matches on the F, the second underscore matches on the R, the third on the E, and the fourth on the D. So this can be phrased as any character string that has exactly four characters. And that would include also digits and any other character. So uh, here I have a 1, an F, 7, and a period, and that matches because it has four characters, and it doesn't matter that they're digits or punctuation. So here is a question, does Fred, is it like any three character? Uh, no, it's not, so it doesn't match. Here we have something that begins with F and has three characters afterwards, and that matches the word Fred. Here is begins with F, ends with D, and has two characters between it. Here is begins with F, has two characters afterwards, and then zero or more after that. So we are saying begins with F and has at least three characters. And finally, this one is must contain a D, and D must not be the first or last character. So as you can see, D must have at least one, have one character before it, plus zero or more before it, have one character after, afterwards, and at zero or more after that. So in summary, like is a comparison operator, it compares a character string to a format string. Percent is one of the main special characters, and that matches on zero or more characters. Underscore is a special character that matches on exactly one character. Other characters must match exactly, and remember digits and most punctuation are characters. Thanks for watching. This is Database by Doug.